Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vought RV in Fort Worth, Texas. Right behind me I have yet another 2022 model. This is a J-Flight SLX-8 and this is a 212QB. That stands for queen bed. No slides on this guy, but there's still plenty of room. I love that because it's super lightweight. Look here, it weighs 4380 dry weight, fully loaded, about 5,500 pounds. So any half ton pickup truck can pull this, perhaps even a large SUV. We can check that out for you. This again is the 212 QB. So even without a slide, plenty of elbow room in here. It's a true couples camper, compact, won't break the bank. Let's take a look on the outside before I go inside and point out some of the differences in 22 from your model 21. Have our twin propane bottles up in front here, which of course we will fill for you before you take delivery. Right behind here we have a battery tray and we'll install a new battery for you as well. We wait until you take delivery to put those in so they don't sprout legs and leave before you get the unit. We have a electric tongue jack up here so this makes leveling and hooking and unhooking a breeze. No crank to worry about, it's all electric. Now if for some reason you had a power failure, battery was dead, or if something were to happen with this motor, you can just pop this out, crank it down manually up or down so you're not left stranded. Okay, now on around this side, we have passed through storage all the way through to the other side. Notice how clean it is in here and notice something else. If you're RV shopping and you should, look what's under the bed deck. This is plywood. It's not particle board fiber board, OSB, whatever you want to call it. This is actual plywood. If you've been to Lowe's or Home Depot lately, you know they're not giving that stuff away, but Jayco continues to use that on the floor, on bed decks, and the roof structure, because it's the strongest by far. Jayco representative quality in the build, head to toe. We're prepped for side cameras and rear cameras. If you wanted to add side cameras and rear camera, you can. Um, this is a pretty short unit. We're about 25 and a half feet long, not super long. Not sure that I would add cameras to it, but you can if you want to. Magnet catches right here to keep these open instead of the little plastic tabs that always had a tendency to get brittle and break over time. Now we have magnet catches. This is what Jayco's calling Polar White, starting in 2022. This is a new color scheme, Polar White, kind of new graphic pattern on the side. And while I'm talking about the outside, I'll talk about the roof. This is a Diflex Generation 3 roofing material that carries a 20-year warranty against punctures and tears. That's a pretty stout warranty if you add that to Jayco's already great warranty of 2 plus 3. That's two years covering the components three years on the structure, that's a great, great warranty. Goodyear tires on every Jayco. Every Jayco you buy is gonna have Goodyear Endurance tires with a six year warranty. Again, Jayco quality on display here. Up underneath here, wrap that with your knuckles when you're shopping around. Check on plywood on the floor of the bed decks. See if there's metal under there. There always will be with the Jayco so that in the unlikely event, you pick up some debris on the highway, you're not going to tear up the side of this unit. It's protected in that wheel well area. Right here above me is an outdoor shower, hot and cold, so you can wash off those sandy feet at the beach or your, or your pets and so on. Everything's nicely labeled. You can peel these off later if you want or just leave them on. Obviously, our water supply connection and the black tank flush valve to keep your tanks clean. A lot of these things are covered in my how-to videos, RV quick tips with Mike. If you go to our YouTube channel, which you may be on right now, go over and click through to RV quick tips with Mike, where I talk about leveling, hooking up to electricity and water, dumping your holding tanks, all the fun stuff. And we talk about the uh, tank flush valve there. Detachable power cord here, and then our potable water fill here. Now this is gravity fill. This is important. If you're off um, in the boonies and you have no water, you're going to have to have water in your fresh water tank for washing, flushing the toilet, and so on. So gravity fills. So you can bring jugs of water from town, come out here, fill it up, and now you have water in your fresh water tank. Low point drain when it comes time to winterize or sanitize your fresh water tank. 
it's labeled right there. Open up this valve and out the water goes. Furnace vent right here and of course your water heater access panel. This is a direct spark ignition water heater. It's six gallon quick recovery. So you take a shower, your wife wants to get in right behind you, take another shower, it's quick recovery and uh, gives you a chance to both get in there, have a nice shower and not be having to wait on hot water. Full size spare tire, which is always the case with Jayco, you're gonna get a full size Goodyear spare tire. Right up here, we're prepped for that camera I was telling you about. So if you wanna pop that cover off and install a camera or we'll do it for you, you can do it. It's already prepped for that. Now we have a nice 14 foot awning on here. I think it's 14, check my math on that, Brian. But notice we have an LED light strip underneath the awning. It's of course a power awning. And then here's what I like too in, in 2022, they've embedded these speakers on the outside wall. These are better speakers than Jayco used to use, so that's an upgrade. Glad to see them doing that. And then on our entrance door, we have these nice Moride step above steps. This is an option. We tend to order our units here at Vought optioned up more than other dealers. We order them the way we would like to use them, and this is an example. You can either get the traditional hanging steel steps or these Moride, that's the brand, Moride step above steps. These just stow inside here for travel. Right there it catches, close the door, and we're ready for travel. In reverse order, to deploy it, simply pull this to release it and drop your steps. Easy to adjust these up and down, just pull it, push in on this metal tab and you can adjust the legs up and down, even if you're on uneven ground. Makes a nice, good, solid step. Handy grab bar right here. Makes it super convenient for going in and out of the coach. And we're gonna go in right now and have a look on the inside. So now we're on the inside of this 212 QB. This is a 2022 year model. I wanna show you, get an idea of the floor plan of this. Remember, no slides in here, so you have no worries about slide performance, any possible leaks anywhere along the way due to a slide seal or something like that. And yet, it's pretty spacious. Awesome couples camper. I like this because you have a sofa right here, right across from the dinette. So a couple folks can be sitting here visiting with two people across from the dinette. It's a comfortable arrangement here. If you wanna add a television of your choice, you'd put it right up here. You could either mount it on the wall or it can set up here at an angle. We have our hookups for the TV, uh, both for a 12 volt and 120 volt household currency right here. Now, Notice we have our um, entertainment center right here. You can stream music via your phone through this, through Bluetooth. So you can push music through the speakers in the ceiling or out on the patio, as is really always the case with Jayco anyway. This dinette converts into a bed. I have a whole video series about doing that. And then we have a jackknife sofa here, simply lift up, and down it goes, and you have another sleeping surface here. So there's a little bit of room you can get between even if both of these are deployed into sleeping positions. Now, if it's up to you if you wanna tell your friends that this turns into a sleeping position. I'll leave that up to you. In case your friends are watching this video, you could just say, sorry, all we have is one bed. We'll see you tomorrow. But if you like them a lot and you wanna let them have a place to sleep, you can turn that into a bed, you can turn this into a bed. That'll be our little secret. So again, no slide, but a, a nice amount of room here. So moving up into the kitchen area, we have a 12 volt refrigerator. I'm a big fan of these if you've been watching my videos. So this is running off 12 volts all the time. It's running off the batteries um, in a battery in front of your trailer all the time. Now, um, once you plug into power at a campground or when you plug into your truck, your tow vehicle, you're sending a charge to those batteries. So conceivably, you can take off and drive this thing to California and back. You're continually keeping the refrigerator going by virtue of keeping your batteries charged. This is 12 volts, so it's a lot deeper than a traditional RV fridge, both the freezer compartment and the refrigerator compartment. Um, are larger. <clears throat> this is a compressor fridge, 
so it works much like the residential fridge in your house. Now I have storage on e along the side here, all the way to the outside wall. Perfect for food items, extra linens, and what have you, top to bottom. Nice amount of storage. Now notice this color, this is new in 22 for the SLX line. You can get this in what Jayco calls modern farmhouse. We're glad about that because we were getting lots of requests for this modern farmhouse decor color scheme. It's lighter, it makes it feel open and airy in here. Uh, they've updated the wallboard color a little bit. And then I'm a big fan of this countertop material. It's a polycarbonate one piece molded uh, material so that you can have an undermount sink. There's no laminate here. There's no, there's no trim piece on the outside to come separated over time from heat or moisture. Looks like solid surface. It's not. It has a really classy look and it's lightweight too. Now we have our three burner cooktop here. Fold this top back and it becomes your backsplash. Three burners here. If you need to clean it, you simply lift this out for cleaning. Backlit controls across the front. This is your igniter for your cooktop. And then a decent sized little oven. Big enough for a turkey? No. Big enough for pot pies and pizza and so on? Yes. If you want to do that turkey, you can do it up here on top with a crock pot or something. Trust me, we've done it before. Nice uh, lighted range hood up here. So this is vented to the outside. Get, keep the heat and the smells outside of your camper. And then a nice little modest size microwave. Storage above the sink here. You've got a tall high profile gooseneck faucet. Lots of uh, reading material in here for you. <laughs> okay. And then drawers under here. And as always the case, and I always brag about it, full extension drawer glides, ball bearing drawer glides, 75 pound weight rating. Solid maple cabinets. So a lot of manufacturers you'll see the cabinet build is made out of particle board or OSB and it has tape to make it look like real wood. In Jaco's case, this is a solid piece of maple. Very nice. Now into the bathroom we go. Decent sized little bathroom. And uh, by now you know I'm six feet tall and weigh about 185 pounds. So just to give you a little context, I have room to maneuver in here, shower curtain and a skylight. So I'm six feet tall. There's another five inches or so up here for a tall person to get in, have a shower, um, do what you need to do in here. Again, just for comparison, I have long legs, pretty long legs, little sink with some storage underneath here and storage to the left. So coming back into the bedroom, here's a new thing in 2022. We still have gas struts. How nice is that? But notice this is closed off. This area used to be open to the pass-through storage in front. Now it's closed off. You still have your gas struts and you have this storage area underneath here. I like to put plastic tubs or baskets or that kind of thing under here. You have your pass-through storage that you access from outside. Again, there's that plywood I was bragging about. Pop this guy back down. This is, of course, what I refer to as a north-south bed orientation. So you can access it from either side. Somebody's not having to crawl over the other person late at night or if you're coming to bed after your partner. So plenty of room to get in from either side and make the bed from either side. A uh, little light switch under here for your nice blue lights. Uh, again, we should do an, uh, a nighttime video sometime, Brian, to show off the lighting features uh, maybe once, once it gets winter, when it gets dark at two in the afternoon, we'll do that. But at night, this is really neat with this blue light up here. It's a perfect night light, just enough light to light this all up without blinding, you know, your partner or whatever. Turn it on or off here. You can control these by simply tapping in the center of them. We have power outlets over here and plenty of room on either side for a CPAP machine or obviously charging your gadgets and so on. Now up here on the wall, we have what we call a key block mount, which is a mount for your television. We'll give you the mount that goes on here on a television that you would provide. 
Here's your hookups up here, power and coax cable. Now if you want to pop this TV off from here, take it out on the patio, you can do that. Super easy to do. Just release it, take it out on the patio, and now you have a TV out there. Another change in 2022, if you can see this, it's thin shade ready. So it's already prepped to put a shade, a thin shade, in the window that's in this door assembly. So we can add that for you, you can add it later, but it's handy because you, a lot of people want the extra privacy, obviously. Saves you from putting, you know, I don't know, a piece of cardboard or something in there. It, this is an actual shade that fits right in there and it's very nice. Of course up here we have our switches for the awning, power awning switches, light switches, checking all your tank levels and controlling your water heater, both gas and electric, and of course water pump right there. So again, we're in the 2022 version of a 212 QB. I'm a big fan of this because again, 5,500 pounds fully loaded, about 25 and a half feet long, easy to tow this thing. You can tow it with many, many, many different kinds of vehicles. Uh, I doubt that there's a, a half ton pickup on the planet that can't adequately tow this, but if you're wondering, give me a call. We'll check out your truck to be sure. It's a neat little unit and it won't break the bank. So my name is Mike from Vaud RV. Thanks for joining me. If you'd like to come out and have a look at this in person, I'd love to show it to you in person. Contact me at the info below. And if you like this video and the videos that we do, I'd sure be thankful if you'd click like and subscribe. I hope you'll click like if you like the videos we do for you. If this isn't your floor plan, I hope you don't click me a not like, because it's really about the video production that we do, bringing these videos for you. If you want a different floor plan, there's different things that you're looking for, let me know and I'll do my best to find the floor plan that suits you. Okay, I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.